show you how I do the hems on my towels. And um, if this was an ideal video, I would have shown you um, how I uh, set my towels up on the loom, how I take them off, how I cut them apart. Um, but I had a request for a video and um, I had actually just sewn in all my hems, but I discovered that one of my hems, uh, the stitching was uh, all knotted up on the back, so I ripped it out, and so I'm going to do um, a new hem. And so here's the other side of the towel with the hem sewn in. Uh, when my towels are on the loom, I separate them with a vinyl mini blind, and I use... Um, liquid cornstarch so if you can kind of imagine when they're on the loom kind of imagine that there's one towel here my mini blind and then this and then I just brush the liquid cornstarch um, at the ends of the towel and you can see even though this hem has been sewn and taken apart it's still uh, holding the threads together pretty good and I'm going to use um, these little sewing clips and they come in different sizes um, this is the first time I've used them they open pretty easily they hold pretty good they work really well for the towel hems I don't know how they would work for other sewing projects um, but they work pretty well for me so all I do when I weave um, I will often weave my hem with a thinner thread so that when I roll up my hem I don't have as much bulk and on this one that's not the case so um, but and I usually allow about an inch and a half so that when I fold them it's going to fold up about a, a half an inch and then another half an inch and I kind of eyeball that just kind of depends um, I'm not real fussy about being exact and to me it seemed like it worked easier to actually start um, clipping these in the center so I just fold it up fold it up again and put a clip on it doesn't seem to make any difference which direction and then I'll go a little farther of course this already has a fold in it because it's been um, stitched uh, with the starch, it'll be a little bit stiff when you fold it up. And then when I get to the sewing machine, you know, I can, I'll can kind of adjust things if they need to adjust as I sew through there, but that's all there is to it. Oh, I should say, if you don't use liquid starch um, to hold your ends, um, what I would do is uh, before I cut the towels apart I would um, uh, either zigzag or stitch that cut edge so that it didn't rub ravel when I cut them apart but the starch holds them really good and I have a separate video on um, using the cornstarch if you're interested in that okay so now let's go to the sewing machine Several of the Facebook groups that um, I'm on for weaving and sewing weaving recommended uh, getting a walking foot for your machine. And so I found one online uh, and they vary in prices. Um, I got, uh, this is not a genuine brother walking foot, but I found it on Amazon. And it does seem to make a difference in how the material feeds through. I'd never heard of a walking foot before. Um, and the... Almost out of thread. Uh, the way this works is there's actually little feet up here that also uh, grab a hold of the material and, throw, and pull it through. So... I'm a, I'm a believer now in the walking foot, at least for s sewing. Whoops. Not a very 
talented sewer. I kind of straighten my hems up once I get on the machine. And so all I do is and then I'll back stitch And so I'm kind of, I've got a, a place on the foot that I kind of eyeball where I want things to line up and how I want them to feed through. So it's not very exciting to watch me um, sew this. But bits of thread there. Um, I had to take this particular hem out and redo it because the thread was all knotted up on the back. So... Didn't quite get that one lined up very good. Well, I always figure that the towels that I messed up I get to keep for myself. So there's my hand. Didn't mess up too much this time. <laughs> 